This is a demonstration of the Advanced Energy Caesar 2720 RF power supply. It produces 27.12 megahertz RF power. The RF power rating is 2000 watts. This is a water-cooled unit that requires 1.3 gallons per minute at a minimum of 29 PSI. It is powered by 200 to 208 volts three-phase requiring a 10.5 amp service. Let's just take a look at the back first. Very simple. First, as I mentioned, this is a water-cooled unit. These are metric fittings, keep that in mind. Um, this is the power input. Uh, this is most important. This particular plug is the interlock plug. This plug must be satisfied in order for the RF power to be turned on. Um, uh, that is very simply accomplished by supplying anywhere between five to 24 volts DC to two pins on here, pin one and pin three. Uh, it is in the manual, however, I include this along with the manual, it's a separate way. All you have to do is supply, like I said, five to 24 volts to these two pins and boom, the unit will come on. You'll see when we power it up. This is your out RF output power plug that goes right out here. Now we'll return around to the front. All right. Turn the system on. As you can see, it comes up and says interlock loop open error. However, the minute you satisfy, you'll see it says quit here. You push that and your system is on. If you should lose your interlock, even if you are running the RF power, it will turn off the system, which is a very good safety feature. First, I'd like to mention a few things in the manual. The manual is very complete. Uh, there is a user's port on the back as well, right next to the interlock port, which is commonly used. This entire section of the manual explains exactly on how to hook that up for a remote operation, giving you all of the pinouts, giving you all the different um, uh, conditions that have to be met. As I had mentioned earlier, there's the interlock, which you must have in place. That copy of, of that uh, pinout is right here as well. There are several operating instructions. One would be for the um, user's port from the back when the entire system is remotely controlled. Uh, for purpose of our demonstration, we're going to use the front panel controls here, which are very simple to use. I will make mention ahead of time that this unit is also, um, can be optionally equipped with a matching network as well. Uh, they refer to it as their matchbox. These controls right here um, are not functioning unless you have the uh, matching network hooked up. Uh, if you do ever get one or um, want to look into hooking one up, there's an entire section in here on how that would work as well. So now we'll move on to operating it. Normally, when I test, uh, RF power supplies. I not only look at what the display is saying, but I also like to use an old-fashioned watt meter. <clears throat> uh, as old as this looks, this is still very accurate. And the reason I like it is because you can sweep up and down through the range of RF and where everything is digitally processed in the unit itself. I still like to watch an analog meter move back and forth. It gives me just a different um, point of reference. So I'm going to do a couple of these tests now to show you the unit works. Uh, in here, in our bird watt meter, we have a 25 uh, 
1500 watt slug. So we'll be testing the full range of the piece of equipment. It's this simple to run. Um, you can adjust the set point from here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start right off at zero. To turn the actual RF power on, there's an on and off right here. We turn that on. Now, it will display both the forward wattage and the reverse wattage as well. Uh, however, we are just running it into a resistive load. We are using our uh, 10,000 watt 50 ohm test resistor here. And we'll watch our analog meter at the same time. So first I'm going to bring this up to 100 watts. And you can turn it on at any time. And we are right at about 100. Now I'm going to send it up here to 500 watts just for a good place to start. And if we look at our meter, we are just about right on. There'll be a little variance in these older meters and some noise that you can get in the cables once in a while, but normally they'll, they'll track the digital display very well. From here, let's just randomly jump up to thousand and we take a look close look at our meter and we are right on a thousand we'll add this up to 1500 oops not a little too far there we go and we're starting to show a little reflected, but that's not uncommon. Um, normally, as long as you have less than 5%, and as you can see, we are 0.2% even at the highest thing. So this is a very solid piece of equipment. And how are we doing here? We are dead on. And we'll go up to its maximum of 2,000 once you're there you can't turn anymore and our meter as you can see is right on 2000 we'll turn our RF off and we'll bounce it back on again all the way up so this is a very simple system to use uh, it can be programmed the programming is very clear in the manual, again, it's written in, in plain language that you can easily understand. And this completes this demonstration.